Hello everyone, this is Hacker. Welcome to the channel. Today is Thursday, October 1st. And here's a list of the daily challenges in Madame Mazar's location. Madame Mazar, she's going to be located here near Emerald Station. Over here in the Heartlands. And the nearest fast travel is going to be Emerald Station. Okay, so now on to the dailies. We have one animal tea sold. Three cups of coffee drunk. One finished showdown and takeover series. Five milkweed picked. Ten player kills and showdowns. Two spoon bills skinned. And one visit the peak of Mount Hagen. Alright, so for one animal tea sold, the easiest was probably just go down to LaGraw or Blue Water Marsh area and kill your alligator. And once you do that, you get a tooth. And then you can just take the tooth to uh, the butcher or Gus. And once you sell it, that challenge will be completed. You need three cups of coffee drunk for that. Uh, you can go to your camp or any, any campfire. And you, of course, you're going to need coffee. You can buy coffee out of uh, your satchel. Or you can go to a general store and buy coffee. Or you can find them in certain houses around the uh, maps. And once you get the coffee, go ahead and brew it on a campfire. And uh, once you brew three and drink, well, actually drink three, that challenge will be completed. You can also get your coffee in the Moonshine Shack if you don't want to buy any. It's downstairs in the basement on the left side of the bar or on a, on a stove. Go ahead and drink three and that challenge will be completed. You need one finish showdown and takeover series. For that, you're going to have to press left on the D-pad and go down to uh, quick join and do takeover series. And once you complete a whole match, that challenge will be completed. And then we have five milkweed pick. I'll show you the locations where I'm going to. I mean, you can find them any, just about everywhere down here in the s s swampy areas around here. Blue Water Marsh area, but for certain they'll be there in these five plants here. There's one, two, three, four, and five. I mean, there's there's probably plenty more, but th those are the five locations. All right, and then we have uh, ten player kills and showdown for that. Uh, once again, you're going to have to press left on D-pad, go down to quick join, and either do takeover series or shootout series. Heck, I think you can even do feature series. And then once you get 10 player kills, that challenge will be completed. Two spoon bills skinned. I'll show you the locations on the map for spoon bills. And my go to spot would be over here in the. In the no, no, not there, I'm sorry. In this general location right here. Or you can find them over here, like this little island here, or whatever you call Inlet. <laughs> over here in the Kamasi River. Uh, you can find them over here in the Blue Water Marsh area right around here. LaGraw area right here, right around there. Over here in these Chains Islands right here, about there. Over here in the San Denis area right here. And then you can find in the Calico Hall all the way down here, just keep an eye on into the chains, of, chains here. And if you have problems finding uh, Spoonbills, just, just hit the Options button, go to Progress, go to Story Mission, go to Life of Shine, and then Certainty of Death, and taxes go ahead and replay that mission and once you get out once you spawn in jump off the wagon and if you look left you'll see three ducks and sometimes spoon bills in that area and if you don't see them just re uh, hit quick the free roam and join back in again and once you get two that challenge will be completed all right then we need one visit the peak of mount hagen mount hagen is over here way over here right here and what I do is uh, I come down from culture and work my way down or you can go from strawberry and work your way up or you can move your camp here over here in a big valley area and if I and fast travel then come up here but what I do I would come down here I suggest it and uh, look for that new moose we got where you're coming to Mount Hagen okay and that's it for generals. Let's go to rolls. You need three bounty targets brought in. For that, just bring in any three bounty targets on any map. And once you do that, challenge will be completed. Then you need uh, two bounty targets tag, targets tag with a tracking arrow. We well, get the tracking arrow for the fence. And what you do is you go ahead and craft some, and then you know, start a bounty and tag your bounty target with them. Yeah, I believe you can tag the same bounty target twice. Just don't shoot them in the head or upper to torso. You need three more than one bounty target brought in. For that, you'll have to do a two-man, four-man, or six-man bounty. And you'll have to do that three times. And once you complete that, that challenge will be completed. 
20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes. Just donate any 20 carcasses to Crips. The easiest will probably go into Blue Water Marsh area and grab you some frogs, toads, bats, squirrels, and uh, and go ahead and donate those 20 to Crips, and then that challenge will be completed. And then you got 20 donations to Crips. So if you want, don't want to do that, it's like we just did this. If you don't want to donate 20, go ahead and donate 20 feathers, and then that challenge will be completed. Then we have two resupply missions completed. Once your camp's halted, go ahead and start a resupply. Don't order them. And once you do two of those, that challenge will be completed. You need three collectibles looted for non-player enemies. Just go down to the swamps and kill you some alligators and uh, skin them. And you'll get teeth, and those teeth count as collectibles. Or you can do the hard way for every person that you kill, NPC that you kill, go ahead, an enemy NPC, go ahead and loot them, and hopefully you'll get collectibles that way. You need three collector maps used. Just open up any three collector maps of Bad Mazar, and uh, you can open them and discard them, open and discard them, and open it again, or you can just open them and go to those areas and come back and open another one. And then once you do three, that challenge is completed. Then you need three family heirlooms found. For that, uh, open up the map of family heirlooms from Bad Mazar and go to those three locations, or you can use the player interactive map, which I'll provide a link below. Moonshiner, you need three Moonshine Bootlegger missions completed. Just go up to Mag and request a Moonshine Bootlegger mission, or you can find them in a you can find them in a free room as well. And now you need uh, two Moonshiner preferred types sold to a buyer. I don't know if that's working. It may, since the update, I'll try it out later. Uh, all you do is uh, sell to anybody with Bert Higgins. You can make any batch of Moonshine. Just don't sell to Bert Higgins. You need one Moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact. For that, once your Moonshine's done. Uh, go ahead and deliver it. Just make sure you deliver it and be careful. Go over, careful around curves, bridges, over, uh, curves, bridges, rubber tracks, revenueers, and make sure you bring it at least 18 bottles. Five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. Just take any five animal samples. Uh, you got to sedate them, of course, and then take the samples. And once you do five within 10, that challenge will be completed. One, don't kill an animal for 24 game hours. As you can see, standing here talking to you fine folks is actually uh, almost a quarter of the way up. And uh, once you get to 24 hours, which is 48 minutes real time, that challenge will be completed. And then you need two sedated animal revives. For that, just revive any two animals that you sedate, and then that challenge will be completed. And that's it. Um, once again, Madame Lazar, she's going to be located by Emerald Station area here. And the nearest fast travel is going to be Emerald Station. Okay, guys, I wish everybody luck on their dailies. And later.